Basic Emotions Theory by Paul Ekman. Paul Ekman's Basic Emotions Theory is a concept that suggests all humans share a set of universal emotions. These emotions are present across different cultures and societies, and they are expressed in similar ways. Ekman, a psychologist, developed this theory through his research on facial expressions and emotions. He identified six primary emotions that he believed are innate to human beings, meaning that they are hardwired into our biology rather than learned from our environment. The six basic emotions according to Ekman are happiness, sadness, fear, anger, surprise, and disgust. These emotions are thought to be universal, which means that no matter where someone is from or what their cultural background might be, they will likely experience and express these emotions in a similar way. Ekman's work is groundbreaking because it challenged the idea that emotions are culturally specific and showed that certain facial expressions are universally recognized. To better understand this, imagine someone smiling. A smile is universally recognized as a sign of happiness. Whether you're in a remote village or a bustling city, when someone smiles, people generally understand that they are happy. Similarly, when someone frowns, it is usually a sign of sadness. This ability to read and express emotions across cultures helps humans communicate with one another, even when there's a language barrier. Ekman's theory is based on the idea that these basic emotions have evolutionary origins. They developed because they served an important function in human survival. For example, fear helps people avoid danger, anger motivates individuals to confront threats, and happiness strengthens social bonds. Disgust helps people avoid things that might be harmful, such as rotten food, while surprise makes individuals more alert to unexpected changes in their environment. Sadness, although often seen as a negative emotion, can signal the need for help or comfort from others, fostering social connections during difficult times. One of the most compelling aspects of Ekman's theory is his research on facial expressions. He traveled to remote regions, such as parts of Papua New Guinea, to study groups of people who had little contact with the outside world. He showed them pictures of people expressing different emotions and asked them to identify what the person in the image was feeling. Remarkably, people in these isolated communities were able to accurately identify the emotions suggesting that the expressions of these emotions are innate and not solely learned through cultural exposure. Another important part of Ekman's theory is the idea that facial expressions and emotions are closely linked. When you experience an emotion, it's almost automatic for your face to show it. For example, when you're angry, you might furrow your brows, clench your jaw, or widen your eyes. These expressions happen naturally and can be difficult to hide. Similarly, when you're happy, you might smile without even thinking about it. Ekman called this connection between emotions and facial expressions the facial feedback hypothesis, which suggests that not only do emotions cause facial expressions, but making certain facial expressions can actually lead to experiencing the corresponding emotion. For example, if you force yourself to smile, you might start to feel happier. Ekman's theory also touches on the idea of emotional regulation. While everyone experiences the basic emotions, people can learn to regulate and control how they express them. This is where cultural differences come into play. In some cultures, it's considered polite to hide certain emotions, such as anger or sadness, while in others, it's more acceptable to express emotions openly. However, even though the way emotions are expressed can vary, the underlying emotions themselves are thought to be universal.
Ekman later expanded his list of basic emotions to include emotions like contempt, embarrassment, pride, and shame. These emotions are sometimes considered social emotions because they are closely tied to social interactions and relationships. For example, pride can be felt when you accomplish something significant, while shame might occur when you've done something that goes against your values or the expectations of others. The basic emotions theory has had a major influence on the field of psychology and beyond. It has been applied in many areas, including lie detection, where understanding facial expressions can help determine if someone is being truthful or deceptive. It's also been used in therapy to help people become more aware of their emotions and how they express them. The theory has even been applied in technology, such as in the development of facial recognition software which can detect emotions based on facial expressions. One of the most interesting applications of Ekman's work is in the field of artificial intelligence, AI. Researchers are working on creating AI that can read human emotions by analyzing facial expressions, which could be used in everything from customer service to healthcare. By teaching machines to recognize emotions, it could lead to more personalized interactions between humans and technology. Although Ekman's basic emotions theory has been widely accepted, it has also faced criticism. Some researchers argue that emotions are more complex than Ekman's list of basic emotions suggests and that emotions can vary significantly depending on cultural and individual factors. Others believe that emotions are not as clearly defined as Ekman proposed and that many emotions are blends of multiple feelings. Despite these critiques, Ekman's work has laid the foundation for much of what we know about emotions today. In conclusion, Paul Ekman's basic emotions theory is a significant contribution to the understanding of human emotions. By identifying a set of universal emotions that are recognized and expressed across cultures, Ekman showed that emotions are deeply rooted in human biology. His research on facial expressions has not only expanded our understanding of how emotions work but also opened new doors in psychology technology, and other fields. While the theory continues to evolve, it remains a cornerstone in the study of emotions and human behavior.